Hey YouTube, what's up? It's the Razman with another edition of the Razman's Reality Day 2 with the new headset backup in action. Want to quickly give a big shout out and thank you to Jared from Farther Away Films for sponsoring a $100 Super Bowl prediction contest. If you think you know who's gonna win and you think you know what the score is going to be, which would result in the total points scored, you still have up until, I think it's 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to enter the contest. So for more information on that, check out my last video, which is entitled Super Bowl Contest Entry. It has the link inside it for you if you want to enter this contest yourself. So I'm not going to go over my prediction that was in yesterday's two videos, both the last edition of Radman's Reality and the Super Bowl contest entry, so I'm not going to go over that again, but instead let's talk about the enormity of this game. I mean, here in roughly a half hour's time at noon Eastern Standard Time, 6 hours and 28 minutes of pregame coverage starts. It goes from noon until kickoff at 6.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I mean, it's just insane. It is the unofficial American holiday. I mean, think about it. Comedians, celebrities, musicians, chefs, everybody that anybody is involved in the Super Bowl every year. And one of the biggest debates that is out there is should the Super Bowl be held on a neutral site like it is? A lot of people think that if your team earns the right to be in the Super Bowl, that the team with the best record among the AFC and NFC champions respectively should have the right to host the Super Bowl. Well, the only problem with that is the logistics that it takes and the money that it takes to put on the Super Bowl and that's why I think it's held in a neutral site every year because A, you have that problem and B, the other problem is you have just as many fans coming from both teams. You're going to have just as many Arizona Cardinal fans as you are Pittsburgh Steelers fans coming to today's game. So, that is why I think that it's held at a neutral site, and I think it is the right thing to do, although I gotta admit, how poetic would it have been? It's poetic now that the Arizona Cardinals are in their first Super Bowl ever, but how poetic would it have been if it was last year? that they represented the NFC in the Super Bowl and they were the ones that went and upset the Patriots because the Super Bowl last year was held in Arizona. And how poetic would it be if the Bengals that's right right here people, the Bengals did a complete 180 turnaround and the Super Bowl is held in Cincinnati and here they win an NFL championship. I mean, sure you have that, but whether or not it happens is still random and I think that's the right way to do it. Now, Naughty Web, I hear ya. Y'all have been breathing down my back ever since yesterday saying you can't just say that Fox coming to Naughty is a good thing. You got to go into more of why it's a good thing, Raz. Well, the thing about this YouTube show is it's hard to time out 10 minutes, so sometimes you have a lot that you're talking about and you don't really have time to delve into a subject, which that is why the poll question is still up and running that I put up a few videos ago, should I do speciality shows? But I think one of the biggest misconceptions that people continue to have is that there is a right by the distributor 
to get involved in the filmmaking process. Sometimes the distributor has things that the company will concede on to make the distributor happy, you know, because they did sign for the right and are helping to get the movie made. But a distributor is just that. It's the person that's in charge of getting the movie out to the public and getting the movie, you know, seen. The head company, the one with the rights, in this case is Walden Media. They're the ones that are in with the Lewis estate and they're the ones that are actually making the Narnia films. So as long as Walden Media is still involved, we don't have a problem. And I think that Fox has really taken the Aragon fiasco and learned from it. They put out great movies since and I don't think that they're going to be up in Walter Media's face and saying that things have to be done a certain way. I think they just want to make Narnia. And they own HarperCollins, which is the publishing company that publishes the Narnia books. They made a play for the rights to Narnia before Walter Media won it. They have the partnership already with the Fox Walden Studios. I think they just want to see these movies made, and I think they're going to be 100% behind making a great movie. And again, it helps that Voyage of the Dawn Treader is much more of a cinematic film than Prince Caspian was. With that, that's all the time I have for today. I want to give a shout out to the guys at XPW. We heard that they put on a great show last night with The Empire Strikes Back. So, kudos to you guys. Don't forget, January, excuse me, February the 7th, it will be Elijah Burke right there with XPW. So, as soon as more details come out about that show, it will be featured right here on this show. And this is reality according to the Razman. And Razman style, it's not just a catchphrase, but a way of life.